Hello, and welcome to Preprint Servers Balancing the Pros and Cons, a video from Himmelfarb Library's Scholarly Communications Committee. My name is Brittany Smith, and I'm a metadata specialist with the library. This video is publicly available and licensed under a CC BY NCSC Creative Commons license, although some resources discussed in the series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Today, we'll, we will be briefly discussing preprint articles and the benefits and the challenges of archiving research from a preprint server. Let's get started. So what are preprints? Preprint articles are scholarly bodies of work that have not undergone the formal peer review process necessary for publication in an academic journal. Preprints are typically archived on servers that are targeted towards specific subjects or fields of study. MedArchive is one such server which archives articles related to the health sciences. What are the benefits of archiving your research with a preprint server? Well, preprints are an excellent way to share your research with other scholars and engage with and contribute to ongoing conversations within your field of research. I mentioned earlier that many preprint servers are dedicated to specific academic subjects or groups of similar disciplines, making it easier for scholars to collaborate with one another. Preprint servers also have the advantage of making research findings available more quickly. This has been particularly important in the era of COVID-19 research, which has led to the widespread use of preprint servers. Lastly, preprints can help early career researchers show the wide range of research and articles they've written. There are some pitfalls to archiving your research with a preprint server. Research archive from a preprint server does not undergo the rigorous peer review process that is an essential step prior to publication. Any articles available on such servers should not be disseminated to a wider audience or viewed as accepted scientific or medical fact. There is a review process prior to research appearing on a preprint site, but this is typically a quick process that only checks that the submitted research does not cause any harm. The COVID-19 pandemic forced many preprint server teams to more closely examine their vetting process and weed out articles that could potentially spread misinformation about the virus or treatments. But this review process is not foolproof. Also, some academic journals consider preprint articles as published bodies of work, thus making it ineligible for dissemination with the traditional scholarly journal. If you plan to submit your research to a journal, check their stance on preprints and whether or not they are eligible for submission. As a researcher, it's important to consider how archiving your research on a preprint server will impact your career. It is also important to consider how preprints might be used outside your scientific community. As preprints become more widely available, they are likewise increasingly used by news organizations to convey information that has not been peer-reviewed to the public. While many preprint articles go on to be peer-reviewed and published in reputable journals, in some cases findings are refuted during the peer review process. Preprint servers are just one tool available to scholars and researchers. I hope this short presentation provided new information on preprints and how they can assist you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Preprint Servers Balancing the Pros and Cons, a part of the webinar series from the Himmelfarb Library. If you enjoyed this webinar, please visit this link to view more videos in the series. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, please feel free to contact me at bsmith91 at gwu.edu. Thank you for listening.